Okay, I'm in the lobby of the Merlot. All right, let's do it. I'm hacking in. Look at that. Secrets and lies floating in a cloud of data. I just reach out, pluck it from the sky, and it's mine. It's ours. Stay focused. We got a nasty security system. How much we got? A hundred grand in 30 seconds. God bless the rich and famous. We are the modern day magicians. Siphoning bank accounts out of thin air. Do you hear yourself? <laughs> I think someone else is hacking in. Let's take a peek. Let's not. Stick to the plan, Damien. Siphon the accounts and get out. Adventure, my boy. Have faith in your mentor. Something triggered that alarm. Let's find it. Shit. It's the system. I'm almost there. I'm shutting down now. Don't you touch a thing. What the hell is that? We need to abort. We are not done. Help me! Damien, it's over. I'm disconnected. Aiden! Maurice. Yeah? You're on. One of our contractors ran a search for the hackers in the Merlot job. You're assigned Aiden Pierce. Take him out. Hit the family if you need to. This guy's hacking days are done. Hit the family? Not a problem? Nope. I'll scare him good. You'll never hear from him again. Gave the order. Come on, man. I told you. I don't know. You don't know. Hit the family? Not a problem. Nope. I'll scare him good. You'll never hear from him again. What do you think, Maurice? Did you scare me? It was a job, man. I didn't know. Who was on the other end of the call? Give me a name. They never gave me a name. Yeah, and I'll tell your name. Boom. Lena. Lena Pierce. I didn't know about any kids, all right? That wasn't supposed to happen. I want you to think very carefully. Think. Look, man. Even if I knew a name, you couldn't get me talking. These guys... I heard stories, man, that like nothing you ever seen before. You gotta walk away from this, man. Some things you can't walk please, away from. Please! Who gave the order? I spoke to them on the phone and they told me where to find you. That's all I know, man. That's all I know. Give me a name. I don't know! A name! Kill me, man! Just fucking kill me! Ah! How's your memory now?
Maurice won't talk to me, but I bet he talked to you. I can't keep running. I can't do it. That fucking Aiden Pierce. I killed his niece. He won't stop chasing me. I wish this guy. What am I gonna do? He keeps coming. I need to keep moving. Yo, Maurice! Yo, what's shaking, motherfucker? Shit! Where the hell you been? What? He's talking to me. I leave you for two minutes. Give me my bullets. I tossed them. But you said you'd kill them otherwise. I told you to hold on to them, Jordy. Where you been, anyway? I had to make a call. And you get what you need from Maurice? Oh, you're kidding me. Let's clean this mess up. Stop admiring your work. Hey, that's cute and all, but I'm disappointed, Pierce. I mean, you failed to spot the nasty inter-gang drama I'm creating here. I don't like loose ends. Let's get him out of here. No, too late. Bottom of the eighth. Chicago's ahead. Game's almost over. We are out of time. <laughs> huh. Nice shot. Come on, you're not just a little interested in my phone call. All right, fine. Tell me about your phone call. Glad you asked. Okay, we got a bunch of dead bodies, right? We got 40,000 people above us. We need a distraction. I called the cops. You did? Oh, yeah, true story. So, cops arrive, and Maurice's little band of brothers arrive, and pow, 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 pow. Jordy, tell me you're joking. No, no, I called them too. Look, we get a messy altercation at the end of the game. You and I slip away undetected. You'll appreciate the plan tomorrow. Great. Punctual cops. I handle these guys. You grab Maurice, get him out of here. Maurice? What do I look like, a chauffeur? He's the shooter. I'm not through with him yet. Hey. Ugh. Dick. Chicago police! If there's anybody in here, identify yourselves. Body here. Definitely a viceroy. Here's the weapon. Gunshot wounds. I got another corpse. Another viceroy. <laughs> Victimless crime, then. Why'd they have to pick the biggest game of the season to play this shit? <laughs> <laughs> Roger the polls now by Jorge Sanova, who ended with an outstanding 15-7 record last season. We're watching an epic confrontation between two old rivals here today, and this game couldn't be any closer. Big base deal is on this team with 27 steals this series, but Sanova's watching them like looks a Looks like it unlocks from the other side. That's a pitch and a hit, and it looks like... Yeah, that's a foul ball. Roger's not falling for that one. Both men, of course, experts at the mind game. Two on, two out, folks. Something's gonna give soon, and it could go either way. Sonova pitches. That's a big hit! See anything? Nope. Quiet here. We've got a known Viceroy in the VIP lounge. We're gonna check him out. Okay, I'm coming up. Slow down there, Speedy. We need you down there. Make sure we don't get any surprises. All right. He's not moving unless I give him a reason.
Hey, you, sir. This is yeah, bullshit, you. Come here. man. You ain't got no probable cause. We're just talking. Hey, man, look, I got my tickets right no, here. No, yeah. keep your hands where I can hey, see them. this is bullshit. Jay didn't do nothing wrong. Get back now. You're vice wars, aren't you? That ain't illegal, right? Don't get smart. How did you two afford VIP ticket? Mm, bet she makes more than you do. Yeah? Hey, yo, what? Didi, calm down, all right? Don't give him nothing make can use. Something tells me if we run you shit stains through the system, we'll come up with plenty we can use. I need to see ID. Both of you. Well, I ain't showing shit. Hey, hey y'all filming this? You are I in want... for a hell of a ride, dude. Bad boy. The police are about to lock this whole place down. I'm stuck unless we create a major distraction. I want to cut the power and slip past them. To the whole stadium? I thought you wanted to keep the vigilante out of the news. Everything's connected to the CTOS with a serious firewall. Right now, I need to get out of the stadium. Can you find me the nearest access point? In the next room. Well, you'll need to find someone with security clearance. Security guard should have access. All these cars, there's gotta be one around. Hey, you Alan? Yeah, I am. You got an evacuation plan, right? Of course we do. Good, we need to get moving on it. We're not gonna evacuate 40,000 people so we can play cowboys and Indians. But you got an isolated incident in the basement, we can close the basement, I got no problem with that. This whole place is about to fill up with Chicago PD. That's gonna cause a panic. We need to shut the game down and get people out of here safely. Oh, shut it down? Well then... Where are you, Jordy? What? Gone. I'm allergic to cops. So is Maurice. But don't worry, I left you a present. Friend of a friend deals in pre-owned cars. Got a real beauty waiting for you in the garage across the street. Tell you to leave it, and I don't care. Nice. I just Gotta saw a go. bunch of cops fly by out there. That's a lot of sirens for a blackout. Shit, something We should stay put. Squad, no longer advise on suspect. Inside his head. I 
Guilt is eating him up. I'll give him a couple of days. I bet he'll start reaching out. Our info and finding Maurice was correct. We've gained access to the CTUS back door while the police were being distracted by you. Since we both went in this, we'll share what we have. That back door allows you some access to the CTUS network. I'm still working on something bigger. Give me time. <laughs> Sick of remembering her that way. 
It's never a dream of her tiny face pressing the window when she knows I was coming over. Or that little wobbly dance she did. It's always the same nightmare. City's full of distractions. And they can't hide from me. Somebody tried to break into my house last night. Cops rolled up like ninjas, thanks to CTOS. I'll have to thank CTOS one day. Simple breach of their facial recognition software, and I've got access to everyone's personal details. Uh -huh. I didn't notice anything. Check again. And make sure you look at the past month's charges. I, I went back all the way to when they started using the CTOS network, whatever. And? Not only are the charges higher, there's some interesting pricing on past services. I'm gonna call them again. So far, I get the runaround. He's out of control. I'm not gonna let him hurt anyone today. A simple trace of his call and he's mine. somewhere. Just move carefully. Don't get spotted. Let the profiler do the work. after. Hey, we need to talk. There's nothing to talk about. We're done. Deal with You're it. You're so fucking wrong. I'm not done yet. Get I gotta away. stop him now. I'll scream. Oh, I'll teach you. <gasps> Enjoying the show? I thought I was dead. God. Oh God. Oh. Ah. Uh. Get out of here. You won't bother anyone now.
Nikki, hey, I know, I know, the party started. It's almost over. Where are you? I'm on my way. Ugh, you make me crazy. Jackson's really looking forward to it. Get over here. We miss you. I miss you too. I'll be there. Sorry, Nick, I need to take this. I'll, I'll see you soon. Good. You got out. Look, if you need some wheels, give me a call. I'll, I'll set you up. Pre-owned cars? You'd rather register yourself at a car dealer? I don't ask questions. This guy gets me any ride I want. And you, if you need it. I just might. How's Maurice doing? Oh, he's all sunshine and buttercups. I'm gonna dump him at my little dumping place. I need him alive, Jordy. Yeah, yeah, alive. Whatever. Goes against your better nature, huh? Well, I'd pop them and be done, but hey, you pay me right, I'll keep them alive as long as you want. I do work for a paycheck. I haven't been in Nikki since the funeral. Am I ready? Jack's last birthday, Lena sang off key. Happy birthday. Full throttle, no holds barred. Now, I'm afraid of the silence. In that case, uh, you deserve ten birthday tickles. What? One, two, three, four, Whoa. five, six, Whoa. seven, eight, Whoa. nine, ten. <laughs> ten. 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 Stay here for a second. So, an entire year and... and yeah, late. Yeah, I'm sorry, Nick. Really. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You look older. Oh, nice. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> this is his first birthday without Lena. Uh, how's he doing? Still doesn't talk to anybody but me. Yolanda says it's his way of maintaining some sort of control. Yolanda? His therapist. She's helping him. It's good. Just slow. 
It's hard, but we're gonna get through it. Mm. Jax. Hey. Sorry I'm late. Can I, uh, can we get a hug? Wow. You are big. <laughs> so, hey, what, what do you got there? Wow, the healer. Cool. You bought him a real toy, huh? <laughs> Why don't you bring up your toys? I'm gonna speak with your uncle. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be up there in a sec. This matters. You being here. I just need to make sure that things are different. Things are different. You and Jax are the most important people in my life. I'm not gonna stop watching out for you. <laughs> Always the big brother, huh? <laughs> Last time I was back here, it was Lena's birthday. Jackson adored her. We all did. You missed all the fun. The kids were playing vigilante, imitating that guy they keep talking about on TV. Let me guess. Jax was the vigilante. No, they were all the vigilantes, and I was the only villain, but I make a mean bad guy. <laughs> I gave him hell. I should have come earlier. I could have warned them. Don't mess with my sister. Remember when you and Mom were both sick as dogs, but Dad insisted his boy was gonna have his birthday cake? That thing was an abomination, all burnt and lopsided. That was Dad in a nutshell. He did a lot of ugly things, but it was always about family. <laughs> Listen to me, I'm rambling. Oh, really? <laughs> no, 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 don't let me interrupt you. Listen, the police can trace this call. Oh, nice, nice. I know where you live. How are the locks on those doors? Who is this? Why are you calling? Do you feel safe, Nikki? Who was that? Doesn't matter, just some stupid crank, it happens. Do you think this is strong enough? Look, did you know his voice? Oh, Jesus, Aiden, just leave it. It's fine. It's fine. He thinks he can get inside. How do you know what he thinks? You're checking the locks. Look, I can handle this on my own. We do not need your help. Nikki, I can find this guy. Okay, look, Aiden, God, you have not changed at all. We do not need your help. Please stop trying to fix our problems. Every time you try, you just make things worse. I better go. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Grown man making crank calls. Let's see how safe you feel when I trace your call. There you are. Damn it. He's on the move. I've been afraid of this. Threats to my family. Again.
crazy sometimes. Uh-huh. Come on back, okay? I promise I won't freak out on you. Uh... Aiden? <laughs> You're going after that creep, aren't you? Well... You're doing it right now. I can't believe you. It's not like that. Stop being a hero, Aiden. Let it go. Let what? Yeah, the call's breaking up. I can't hear you. No, you can hear me perfectly. You need to stop right now. Yeah, hello? You still there? Can't hear you. Okay, gotta go. Oh! CTOS hacks. Yeah, I'm still trying. They're kicking you out. Give me time. Okay, well, I need your help then. Can you trace a phone call? How can I refuse my best client? Wait, what am I looking at here? It's from a guy who threatened my family. I want to know who hired him. Well, the call came from somewhere in the Loop District. But that's as far as I can see. Okay, if I can hack CTOS inside the Loop. Then I should be able to pinpoint the source of that call. Let's do that. Bloom's building a new CTOS center in the loop. It's perfect. DeadSec tried to attack that center last month. We failed, and they just added more armed guards. So it won't be easy. Be careful. You sound like my sister. Relax. Make sure I'm armed and dangerous. private contractors to guard their CTOS centers. These guys will be geared up and wired for action. But I'll be ready. If CTOS doubles their guards, I better double my weapons. Hey, how's it going? Have a good day. Welcome. Finding everything okay? Have Over the nice past day. few weeks, CTOS centers throughout Chicago have increased security due to several attacks from activist hacker group DeadSec. When asked about security changes, Bloom spokeswoman Charlotte Gardner was decisive. Chicago's safety is paramount, so we've hired private security for every CTOS control center. 
These highly skilled peacekeepers have trained in the most dangerous regions of the world. In fact, Ms. Gardner, these peacekeepers you refer to are military mercenaries, many with criminal records, isn't that true? Indeed, they've served time in the military, but we should hardly reject our brave soldiers for proudly serving their country, should we? Our CTOS network is...
TOS? Already? I'm looking at the network as we speak. You got your access, and I've got mine. Profiler systems online. Everybody's nasty little secrets at the click of a button. This thing's highlighting all kinds of stuff in the district. I can take advantage of some of this. Keep an eye out for online traffic. Could be fixers in the network. If I can see them, they can see me. All right, I gotta move. I mean, a lot of noise here. Give me time to track your caller. I'll be in touch. That. This ain't your problem. Hey. I need you to cover something for me. What is it? I lined up a lucrative deal with a very demanding client. He needs a driver. No. But here's the thing. I come in this morning, find Maurice trying to dig his way out of the guest room. So I need to move him. Now I could pass this problem on to you since Maurice is really your problem. But that's not my style. I always finish what I start and all I'm asking of you. All right. Fine. I'll handle it. Well, no, don't let me put you out. I said I'd handle it. What's the job, exactly? It's a delivery job. 
Gotta move some guy. I mean, how hard is that? Just keep in mind my reputation's on the line here. He's paying top dollar for the best driver in Chicago. Then he's in luck. He's trying to hack in. Maybe if I trace his signal back, I'll find him before he breaches my phone. There you are. You're mine now. Hey, show some respect. Fixers are mercenaries, they work for a paycheck. Someone's issued a contract on me. That's bad fucking news. If I remember right, these guys communicate through the grid. Well, I think 
thinking I can do better next time. In fact, no time like the present. Let's see what kind of contract I can pick up. Nothing. No contracts. I'll have to check back later. All right. Now I can deal with Jordy's job. Some kind of driving contract. Delivering a guy somewhere. This won't be a typical taxi service. The trick with these jobs is avoiding the cops. nighttime invasion on a manufacturing plant. One assailant died at the scene, while one remains at large. Expect delays within Parker Square as police have set up roadblocks. This is squad. We've got a green light on CTOS search. Scanning for suspect now.
I'm the driver. Fuck, man, what took you so long? You got a car, this thing's shot to hell. No. My rule's your car. That's the job. All right, well, come on, man, let's go. What the shit? Eddie's dead. I left him back there. Oh man, the cops came out of nowhere. This is bad. Just follow the route and keep an eye out. The cops are still searching. Your route's gonna get us killed. Sit back and keep quiet. Just stick to the plan. I know what I'm doing. That how your buddy run him dead. Keep your head down. Uh, squad, we're gonna work the alley and see if we can flush him out. Copy that. All surrounding bridges are still up except the wells. You've got support inbound on the wells. So come on, what's the plan? Talk to me. You need to calm down. You got the island locked up. We'll stick to the back alleys, garages, keep out of sight. If you see me kill the engine and cut the lights, you keep quiet. Just be an old parked car. Understand? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Shaking. You ever seen a guy shot in the guts before? Too many. Come on, man. Talk to me. I'm freaking out here. Hey, maybe, maybe Eddie's alive, huh? He, he, he took one to the belly. I heard that's the best place to get shot. Is that true? A wound like that can go either way. The bullet doesn't go right through. You're looking at a lot more collateral damage. Listen, the cops are gonna want answers, which means your friend will get an escort to the hospital. You said you've seen a lot of gut shots. How many of them lived? Lived? Let's concentrate on getting you out, okay? Jesus, man. Jesus, I killed Eddie. I know I did. I heard the sirens, and I just reacted. I, I thought I'd slow them down if I wounded him. I was aiming for his arm. I swear to God, one of us had to make it back. Oh, fuck. fuck, man, they said you were good. You did it! Lucky Quinn. Why is the club boss meeting us? He's not meeting us. He's meeting you. Someone knew. I swear, I don't know what happened. There wasn't supposed to be anybody. I, I mean, it's a computer plant, right? I turn around, the alarm's going off. The cops got there so fast. <laughs> I didn't... Quiet now. It's all over, son. I got it, Elise, right? That's what matters. It is indeed what matters most. This is how the world turns. Not much room for fuck ups. Oh, oh, I get that, Mr. Quinn. I do. It wasn't my fuck up, though. Yeah, it wasn't. You know, calm now. It's all right. Calm? Get a chance to talk to your mama? Call your friends? Your girl? No, sir. I was in a hurry. That's good. Very good.
You can tell your employer I'll call again. If ever I need a, another delivery. Lucky fucking Quinn. He runs the Chicago South Club. These assholes have been preying on Chicago since before I was born. I could have done the city a huge favor if I put one between his eyes. But this is exactly what I've been trying to stay away from. It always comes back hard. That can't happen again. Hey, how'd it go? You finished that job yet? You thought I'd be okay working for the fucking club? A paycheck is a paycheck. You gotta start separating the morals from the moolah. Relax. Listen, I can hook you up with my guy. He'll find you better driving gigs if you want. Yeah, sure. I don't know if I'll take them. Give him my name. Who says no to extra cash, right? Oh, and since you asked, Maurice is doing just fine in his new home. I've got something for you. We need to meet. Meet? What, face to face? Should I look for a guy in a mask? No mask. Just follow my signal. I thought you never wanted to meet. I don't. But we need to meet. bad boy before and he's always protected his identity that's how dead sec works now he wants to meet that's unusual all right i'm gonna try and shake him off his game let's see what he's up to Seventeen. Clara. Clara. You don't look seventeen. <sighs> Do I look like a bad boy? No, you look like a wild card. I hope I don't frighten you. What, do you have a reason to frighten me? Now you're being paranoid. Am I? Someone is fucking with my life. Threatening my family, and at the same moment, the mysterious bad boy wants to meet me, and he is a she. He is a lie. Listen, I need to trust you, Clara. I wouldn't trust me if I were you. But here's a reason to listen. The text message you sent me? I know where to find him. Yeah, 
When we don't need to meet face to face for that. No. We needed a face to face for this. You wanted that sex some acts. You got me in. You should be nicer to me. I'm about to open your world. Yeah. Well, you're not the first woman to promise me that. Mm -hmm. They do all their nasty work through this. And they don't know I have access. Are you stolen? <laughs> this is powerful. Just don't be stupid. You screw around and you get people hurt. Worst. <laughs> well, I don't think you trust me. Give me a reason to trust you. All right. The guy sent the text. How do we find him? We work together. You with everything I just turned. Me, tracking his signal. You're not quite what I expected. And you're exactly as I expected, Aiden. Talking to bad boy or Clara. Let's make it easy. Voila. So we need to track your caller. But he's sneaky. He's bounced his address through a CTOS office tower. Client services, employees and executives, things like that. An office tower. We need to find a way into the system. You get me in, I get you his location. I can get into the building where they're most vulnerable. Check out where they take deliveries. Looks like underground, in the tunnel. I'll start there. Hey, I'm sorry I was rough before. I know what you were doing, trying to intimidate me. Very textbook. Stepping into my personal space, the stair, physical contact. You're trying to look for cracks. So did you find any? Wouldn't you love to know?
See what's ahead? The layout shows a wide open indoor plaza. More guards, no doubt. Oh, those hacks I uploaded to your phone? It's perfect distraction. You can disrupt the equipment of any guard in there. Equipment like what? Anything. Hack their phones, earpieces, explosives. Huh? Everything runs off computer chips these days. Okay, I'll try it. You scan me the offices. Find me someone with an unsecured laptop. Got one. Bradley Coughlin. Oh, no. <laughs> He's a security director. Of course he is. Once I hack in, you move fast. Track or call her and get out. It won't take long for security to spot the intrusion. Don't worry about me.
I'm telling you, it's not just an ad. It blocks my entire view. Just one enormous fucking eyeball. You try working. Oh shit. Someone's hacked in. Oh fuck me. Lock down the building. Find him now. Okay, I got you in. Can you track the caller? I'm searching now. Carlis. The police are coming. They've got Hydex cans that are hard to shake. You need to get out of there. Fast enough. Does DedSec know a way to jam their scans? Wait. I think we do. Here it is. I'm sending it to you. Can you find my caller? I'm tired of this cat and mouse. I got your mouse. This call was made from an apartment in the loop. Finally. Just be careful, Aiden. The way he bounced his signal around, I think he wants you to find him. Well, I certainly don't want to disappoint him. 